Hi, hello, and welcome to Capricorn Venus Tarot. I'm Capricorn Venus. So, today we're going to see what does your style say about you. So I just want to see, um, we're going to like tap into what your style is, and then also like what it projects about you and what people can learn about you through your style. So, we got four piles, and today we're using my new Crystal Oracle deck. Uh, I just got it as a gift from my mom when she was in Alaska. So it's really, really cute. Um, yeah. So for pile one, we have blue calcite piece. For pile two, we have aquamarine adaptability. For pile three, we have pink opal acceptance. And for pile number four, we have obsidian self-reflection so. here we've got all four piles so go ahead and make your choice all right i'll see you in there Okay, pile number one. What does your style say about you, pile number one? And I do own this stone, so this is the blue calcite, and your word is peace. So what is pile one's style? What is their style? Right. Oh my gosh. Sorry, my cat was begging to get out of this room. I think part of what your style pile um pile one part of what is your style pile one is that you just seem like you want to be comfortable. You want to be, um, you know, cuddled up at home. It seems like maybe at home you've got everything you like. Maybe you sit by the fireplace or maybe you sit by the window and you have your like favorite spot to sit and you have your favorite thing to do and your favorite cup of tea you like to take. Um, I think your style is saying to people that you know how to, you know your favorites, like you know what makes you feel comfortable and you know what gives you peace, you know? And I feel like also your style melds really well with the way you look, like with your features. Um, so it also is just like you know yourself. You're at peace within yourself too. Um, because when people look at your style and also when you're in your style, like when you have your favorite clothes on, when you have your favorite shirt on, um, you exude this really nice feeling you just feel comfortable but comfortable is not even the right word because it's more like there's a sensualness to it you know there's a um enjoying life like your style really says you know how to enjoy life and you 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 know how to be the best for yourself so like yeah I'm just getting heavy maybe you just have a few favorite clothes I, I see you as a person who um, people can often see you in your favorite pair of jeans or your favorite dress or your favorite whatever, um, t-shirt, cardigan. I'm kind of getting those kind of vibes where it's like it kind of is a meld where you could wear it in a lot of places, you know, dress it up with um, the right accessories or something like that. But you are always using like similar pieces. So then people see you wear this favorite t-shirt out going out and they also see you wear this favorite t-shirt when you're in your PJs at home. Something about that. Okay, so what does pile one's style say about them? Yeah, it's like you really know how to pick good pieces. So it's also possible that the clothes that you do have are just really high quality and people can tell from the texture of the clothes, first of all, that it's very comfortable to you and you feel cozy and the you know the fabrics that you choose but also that it's high quality so that it lasts you a long time because again we have the four of pentacles which to me is like you've had these pieces for a long time or you really hold your clothing closely like you care about what it is that you're wearing and 
in that you want it to be high quality or you know and high quality can mean a lot of things you don't have to get high quality only from like designer stores um in fact sometimes it's not even that good <laughs> but it's just knowing yourself knowing your lifestyle knowing what looks good on you and picking the tippy top of you know the shirt that looks the very best on you and feels the very best and works with all of the things that you do on a daily basis so also I'm seeing that your your wardrobe is very personalized to you and I think that makes sense when you have like a I don't know maybe you have a huge wardrobe but you just have like a few favorite favorite pieces that people just see you pull out time and time again and and when they see you pull out these favorite pieces they agree you know like it's your favorite dress because it looks stunning on you and the color is perfect on you. So, of course, you're going to pull it out for every fancy occasion. Or, um, you know, yeah, that's a great example. But let's see what... Like, they agree. They think it's quality. So, maybe you have a favorite few purses or a purse that you... Or a backpack or something like that. Um, and, yeah, people are always seeing you with that specific backpack or with that specific purse or whatever. Um, but it's really nice. Like, and... People are appreciating it. I don't know. What does what does Pal One Style say about them? What does Pal One Style say about them? Okay. What does Pal One Style say about them? Yeah, maybe you wear like t-shirts from when you were um, younger or something like that. Because I'm almost getting like, again, with this nostalgia thing. Maybe you always wear, the, maybe you have a necklace you always wear. Because I'm it's heavy, heavy giving me that. But I think what people are learning about that from, what people are learning about from you doing that is that you are sentimental. I think something um, people get from your style is that you're very sentimental. You're very romantic with your things. Like you really, <laughs> yeah, you, you're just so centered on, um, there's like an indulgent quality to you based on your style. Like again, with this romanticism and holding on to things that you really love and going for like um, high quality or luxury, um, or if it's not going to be high quality or luxury, it needs to be something from your past, but I'm getting like, okay, okay. So here's what I keep popping up in my mind. Maybe you have like a gold necklace that you wear every single day, you know, so then it's high quality, but then you can also tell that there's a, um, sentimental edge to it because they can go back in your photos and you're always wearing that same necklace. So that, that is what popped in my head. So apply it to your situation, but yeah. Okay, what does Pile One Style say about them? Mm, okay, so here's another thing. I feel like you... <laughs> wow, that's, that's interesting. Um, let, me, let me get a clarifier on that actually though. Let's see. They're fair on the double and the four wands. Like, is that, is that what you're saying? Yeah, okay. So I think there's something else about your style that's telling people to back off. Like, I think maybe you're very good looking or something like that, but you're in a relationship. So then your style is telling people that you're not, you're not looking for any offers. Or, or it could be that your style is saying that you are a catch. So um, I'm <laughs> I'm sensing that your style is saying that you're a catch. So for some of you that are in a relationship, I think people are getting it that um, you're taken and that's what they're getting from your style. And then for those that are not in a relationship and even the ones that are, I think they also are just getting that you're a catch. So it makes sense that you're in a relationship if you are. And if you aren't, then it's just that it's really hard to get you. And there's something like that really lights people up with when it comes to your style. I think... I think it's just the way that everything forms to your body really well. Again, with that, it's coming back up. Your style is saying that you know your body. So then people are like, it's sexy that you, you can get your clothes really tailored. Or you must know how you look and you must know your best features because you're accentuating them in your style, if that makes sense. 
yeah, your style also says that you're happy. Like, because again, with this knowing yourself, feeling stable, like it doesn't seem like you're trying to get attention, but it seems like you're expressing yourself and you, um, you know yourself and you know what makes you feel good. Let's see what else. Necklaces are, are definitely popping up over and over. So you, I really like that. You know, if you do have a necklace that you wear every day, this is definitely for you because people are getting that you can take care of things. You know, they're projecting a lot of things onto um, your style. And if it's a necklace and, and you have like jewelry you wear every day, I think something that people can project is that you know how to take care of things and that you're really stable because you haven't lost it and you've had it for a long time, you know. Um, Yeah, there's a flirty edge to your style as well. Okay, let's see. Now, what does Pile One's style say about them? I would say you're kind of covered up as well. It's like, again, you know how to accentuate things, but you're not, um, I don't know, you seem like kind of covered up. Like you should just enough, you know? And again, this, this reinforces that you're a catch kind of kind of vibe. Yeah, we split the deck and I got the hold and good things. What does Pile One Style say about them? I think it says that you're protective of yourself and then you're also abundant. So that, again, that makes sense with you being maybe more covered up um, and then you're also like, you know, wearing high quality things. Anything else? Let's see. What does Pile One Style say about them? What does Pile One Style say about them? Yeah. You're really alive in your body. You're really awake in yourself. You know yourself. You feel connected to your body. You're present. That's what you're that's what your clothes are saying about you, your style. Um, I think it's also in the way you walk and how your body looks, but I do see your style playing a huge role because people can just tell that you know, you're in touch with yourself. Like, I used to watch um, that TV show, what is it called? Uh, oh my gosh, it's Stacy and Clinton and What Not to Wear. I used to love that show, What Not to Wear, and the biggest thing they always talked about um, was like, fitting your body shape you know if you like they had all these style rules and now you know people are a lot more out there with the kind of things that they wear and it's a lot more acceptable so a lot of their rules don't necessarily hold true however if you do want to like embrace those um you know silhouettes that work best with your body shape I think that's okay too you know I always liked seeing how I could look my very best, you know, and some people like that. And I feel like that's you, Pa One. It's like you try to perfect your style, you know, perfect to you. Um, yeah. So I just feel like when people see you, they just, they can tell you know yourself and you love yourself. Um, whether that's true or not, that that's what they're getting. Like, and I feel like it has to be true to some level. <laughs> Maybe you're working on it. Um, but yeah, you just have this flirty, cute vibe, but you're not over, you know, but you're not over the top and you just feel very present within yourself. You are sometimes cute and sometimes exacting with um, your style, you know, sometimes sexy, sometimes, you know, yeah, I just feel like you're a person who's really in touch with yourself, in touch with yourself all the time you know, and how you're dressing is not a show. That's another thing. Um, cause at the beginning I was getting with, with this, you know, you would rather be at home sometimes. Um, and I just feel like you're not faking it. You wear what you want to wear in that moment. You're not exactly, you might dress for the occasion, but it's more, how would you dress for the occasion, Pa One? It's like you are playing dress up. It's all, it's very you centered. I feel like people, what, what, what your style says about you, Pa One, is that you come first. You know, you're number one in your own head. You're the one whose experience matters and you really prioritize your own experience. Again, with things that are comfortable and things that make you happy. Yeah, so that's what I'm getting for you, Pa One. Okay. really cute. 
I can just picture you. I'm just picturing you. Um, you know, I think it'll be different for everyone, but how I'm picturing you is like a t-shirt and the best fitting jeans kind of person. You know, just you find clothes that really suit you and you wear that a lot. You have kind of a, almost a uniform, but it's, it's more creative than that, but yeah. Okay, so let's post some music videos. So what does Pal One Style say about them? Yeah, you know how to feel young too. You still feel very fresh in your clothes. You still feel like you're finding fun in it. Um, you you let go of other people's expectations. That's that's what your style is also saying about you. Because again, there's something about where you have your favorites and that's what you're gonna wear. You know, like, I don't think you're super melding to every situation like on purpose, you know? Um, okay, what does Pile One style say about them? making you seem kind of popular. Let's see, what does Powell's style, okay, say about them, that's it. Yes, so I feel like your style just says like you're ready for anything, you know, um, that's kind of what I was getting earlier, it's like you could do day to night outfits or you could do, you know, outfits where you can really get active still and dance and everything. Yeah, she's in the rain in this. You know, I'm just getting that kind of vibe where it's like, you're not super, part it's not that you're not particular with your clothes, it's just like, you're always ready to do stuff. Like you're not really prissy with your clothes is kind of what I'm getting. It's like, you like to dress the like where, the way you like to dress, um, and you love your clothes, but then you'll still, you know, go to the gym in your favorite t-shirt or so, something like that. I don't know. I'm getting those kind of, that kind of vibe. I don't know if you, you know, you'll wear your favorite dress and then somebody asks you to help them move and you'll go over there. That s seems so extreme, but some, I'm getting something like that. So I don't know if you are willing to, you know, really dance and you don't care if you sweat all over your favorite party clothes. Like that's why they're meant to be used you know like um, maybe that's what it's showing is like your philosophy on clothes is that they should be worn you're gonna wear well, you're gonna wear those clothes to shreds you're gonna wear those jeans every day you're gonna wear them for every activity um and that really does make sense with what we were talking about earlier wow the heart wants what it wants all i want to do is make love to you like i think your clothes allow people to romanticize you as well um, because again, it's like you're a cartoon character. It's like you're Ramona Flowers in um, Scott Pilgrim versus the world. You know, she always has like, she kind of has like a uniform, even though she's, she's a perfect person for you because she always plays with her outfits. You know, she does her hair, she does th different things, but it's kind of like, she has this standard vibe all the time because it suits her. Okay, and it, it matches her personality. <laughs> Again, with the, there's lots of dancing in this. There's lots of partying. There's people wanting you from afar. Um, there's people walk, watching you in public places because they think you look like an interesting person. Um, and again, somebody who's really alive, somebody who's very feisty and fun and maybe dangerous. So yeah, that, that's what I'm getting from you, Pal One. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna leave these down below and I'll see you next time. Okay, pile two, aquamarine, adaptability, what does pile two's style say about them? I am getting that you might be kind of utilitarian just because of the ad adaptability, apt adaptability, um, 
So I'm yeah, it could go one of two ways in my mind anyway. Um, I'm sure it could go a lot of different ways, but these are the two I'm thinking of. You could be like an athleisure person. Um, so you you just always look like you're ready to go for a hike or something like that, or you're you're always ready for the yoga class, or um, you know you look really classy, but then you also are dressed to do activities, you know, and be active. Um, and then the other way I could think is kind of more, that would be like the more city girl active. And then I'm thinking also like more country girl active would be like, you're always in a pair of jeans, always in a pair of jeans and like a, um, Henley kind of situation. Like what is that? Elena Gilbert outfits, you know, <laughs> from, uh, what is that? Uh, Vampire Diaries. There we go. Yeah. So those kind of outfits where it's really cute and it's ready for any kind of situation that could occur, but you could also like run away in it. <laughs> you, know? you could um, get stranded on the side of the road in that outfit and you'd be fine. You know, like there's something about durability as well as adaptability, you know? Okay, all right, well. I guess we're gonna pull some music videos first. That's what they're saying. Maybe it's gonna show me some outfits born to die of course um like little jean shorts and a t and a black tank top it's like where can't you wear that um and you always look hot you know that's another thing I'm, I'm getting that you do look hot because all of the examples I was thinking of is like so I was thinking of like the hot posh girl in the city who's always wearing um lululemon or like it looks like she is and it's like athleisure and it's like oh my gosh she's she's probably having her green juice and um you know, you look so posh or something like that, or like put together and um, healthy. And then the other example I'm getting is like kind of redneck woman vibes where you're in a pair of denim and um, what's that line? Victoria's Secret. That stuff's real nice, but I can buy the same damn thing on Walmart shelf off price and still look sexy, just as sexy. Um, so that kind of vibe where you're, you're really sexy, but it's like you take out the trash you know or like you're doing laundry or I don't know you're helping somebody farm something I'm not from the country okay uh not really just the suburbs so I don't know what what do you do chop down a tree you look like you could chop down a tree okay pile two um and then born to die Lana Del Rey it's like you could smoke out by the motorcycle shop at the gas station these uh these examples are funny but I think you get what I'm saying like like you're a road trip girl or something like that, you know? Um, but all three of those kind of women are like the hottest person in their community. So that's what I'm getting from you. I think your style says about you is like, you're the hottest person in your community. Like you're that girl, but I think it'll mean different things depending on which community you're in. And then also with the athleticness. I just got an um, image of ice spice in that new music video deli or something um yeah she's in jeans tennis shoes so she can walk around she can have fun with her friends but she also looks hot you know she's ready to walk all over new york city but she still looks hot yeah she's got little jean shorts on in this too so that could be for some people what does your style say about you, pile two? What does their style say about them? Pile two. What does pile two's style say about them? Anything else? Yeah, maybe everybody in your town has a crush on you, honestly. Yeah, so we're going to take that one. Yeah, you're a little bit of a heartbreaker, I'm seeing, pile two. Um, <laughs> oh, you also can be a social media star. I mean, yeah, you could, this, this is screaming Instagram influencer to me, or TikTok, you know. Um, doesn't have to be, but it's for somebody out there. This is so funny. You can definitely rock a pair of denim. Uh, that's for sure. So something about your body too. I mean, I would just say like your your style is definitely saying that you're a hot girl, um, that people want you, that you're a heartbreaker, that, you know, multiple people in your community want you as a romantic partner. That's that that is what your your style says about you. Dang. Okay, yeah, another crush energy. 
people are always having crushes on you in public because you just got that classic. And I like this as a different kind of style that you could be. Um, you know, she's got that 70s vibe and she wears like the shorts and she's the gym teacher um, that everybody has the crush on. So big bouncy hair. I'm getting a lot of big bouncy hair. But it, I, I really do feel like it's going to be different in, every, in everybody's case because it's whatever the peak girl looks like in your community that's like what you're like because you have a lot of people vying for your attention a lot of people watching you um trying to get like you jealous of you uh you know that's yeah that's what i'm getting yeah and a hard worker <laughs> that's another thing i just get like you're feisty too you know you're not meek you're very much like Yeah, and some of you could even be like dressing business-y. So you could be the hottest secretary at your business office. <laughs> that sounded really natural. I'm a human, I swear. Um, so <laughs> you could also be like the hottest lawyer in your, uh, in your firm, you know, or the hottest student because I'm also it also could be like dark academia and you know how to wear those little skirts and whatever else because that's what this is in. Yeah, everybody just thinks you're the, you know, cherry on top. People want you. People think you're classy. People think you're cool. But in, like, a beautiful way. There's something, it's not cool as in, like, it's very much hottest person around kind of vibe. Yeah, people want to steal you away. Press. This is the perfect, this is the final song for sure. Because this is just, everybody is on you. I think that's what your style says about you is everybody's pressing you. Everybody is trying to get your number. Everybody is just kind of knocking down your door all the time is what your style is saying about you. So I'm going to keep these out. You got a lot of music videos, but I think they were, they pretty much all said, um, like a continuation of this, but I think, you know, just watch them and you'll get extra messages. Fun, fun little thing. So let's see. What is their what is their style like? What is pile two, what is pile two style like? Let's let's get some cards about that. Yeah, you could just look also like slightly mean. You know, I feel like your style says like don't don't fuck around. And I I feel like all three of those examples I gave in the in the beginning the yoga girl the um you know yoga queen girl the um redneck woman hot hottest girl in the trailer park vibe. And also the, um, who am I thinking of? Well, another one was like the ice spice princess of your, your block kind of vibes. All of those people, you don't want to come to like in a negative way because they're going to eat you alive. Like that's kind of what your, your style also says about you is like, you're just going to eat them alive. <laughs> Yeah, that you have the high ground. I feel like your style definitely says that you have the high ground. Um, interesting. It also says like you're, you've got a edge to you. Like a little bit of a punch. Something about your style is saying that you've got a little bit of an edge to you. I don't know. Again, do you wear like cowboy boots so people know you have to do all this hard labor at the horse ranch so even though you're hot it's like you're there's this knowledge that you're doing hard labor um and then there's also like the pilates yoga girl it's like those classes are freaking hard you know so they might look all polished but you know that they can get down because they're they they're strong they're really strong those you know don't take it for granted the core power girl is like they've got abs of steel so something about that i don't i don't know i don't know what it is or maybe it seems like you could have a hidden knife. <laughs> it's like, just don't bother this person. That's what your, your style is telling people. It's like, don't bother this person because they have the high ground and they're going to walk away the winner. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, also that you have a lot to offer. Yeah, you just seem like a high value person. Um, that's, that's a lot of what your style is saying about you. Tell us about this person. Yeah, 
Yeah, also that you're very sexy. You have a definite sex appeal, but like in a um, kind of sassy way. Like if you're the woman, um, what? If, if you're a woman, <laughs> if you're a woman, um, maybe you are the one who's the aggressor though, you know? Or there's something where you seem like the aggressor. Like you seem the per like the person who would be flirting and you'd be going towards somebody. Okay. Clarify that for me. Say about them. Okay. So it's like you've made your own way. You've had to walk away from things and this with this okay so you're very giving at the same time so you're like nurturing as well it's like you you have a harsh but nurturing attitude that your style is exuding I don't know maybe you just have like a very um Like a sweet face, maybe a round face or something like that. And so people are kind of seeing you as sweet as well. It's so funny because there's kind of that duality of like you're sweet but sour. It's like you're a sour patch. I think that's another thing your stylist is hanging about you. It's like you're a sour patch kid. Sometimes you're really sweet and flirty and giving and handing out compliments and just everybody loves you like Southern Belle kind of vibes. And then sometimes you're like cut off queen, harsh, um you know, leading the charge, getting your money kind of vibes. Okay, let's, let's roll the dice because I feel like that'll give us some good ideas. What does Pile 2 Style say about them? What does Pile 2 Style say about them? Yeah, Leo, star of the show, you know, you're just the sun. Everything kind of revolves around you. Again, with the press kind of vibes, it's like everybody's trying to get at you. Everybody wants your energy and the sun sh can shine on everybody. So you are giving that six of pentacles, like giving energy. Um, 11 is like, well, it's Aquarius. So again, with the star, you got the star and the sun essentially. And so you've got a lot of attention on you for sure. A lot of attention on you. Um, and I think, you know, a lot of people too, is kind of what I'm getting. It's like, maybe you are again, like the, like in that princess Diana video, it's like, you know, everybody gathers around you. Everybody knows you. You're like the most popular girl in the town or something like that. I don't know. In your community, you're really well known and everybody wants to be your friend. And maybe you have a lot of friends even, or you have like a huge group that you hang out with or a huge family that you're really close with and you're high up in the ranks with. I don't know. And then to get one and one there. So definitely kind of Aries. Um, so you've got two fire signs there. So you could be a fire sign or have that in your chart. You could also have Aquarius. And then we also have Gemini. Virgo, um, yeah. What does Pal 2's style say about them? Yeah, this is the magician and the empress. It's just like you have this huge duality because you're really shining, you're really beautiful, and everybody wants to come towards you and do things for you, but then you're very hardcore, like. Um, cardinal energy where you're starting projects you're the leader you're the driver um, you know you're the one going after it I mean Cardi B is a great example because she's really beautiful and she's also extremely small <laughs> I just saw this thing where she's like very short um, so there could be something like that with you like you're a spitfire um, I like guess a, a short spitfire kind of vibe <laughs> I could definitely see that yeah, there is definitely this duality and I think it has to do with your appearance because I feel like your your style and your attitude match because they're both like whip like and just I don't know how to explain it more than that like very knife sharp you know kind of style and persona but then there's something about your physical form which is more soft um giving um sweet so you can like turn on the charm in a sweet way thanks to that it definitely could be your eyes. 
you might have really just like eyes that people love to get dazed in your lips too like very sweet there's something sugary definitely okay that is what i'm getting for you pal too thank you so much uh that was really fun i'm gonna link those videos down below give you some extra messages there uh and i will see you next time thank you very much Okay, pile number three. Let's clear the energy. Okay, pile number three. Now, what does pile number three style say about them? Pink opal acceptance. What does Pile three style say about them? Sagittarius, Aquarius, Scorpio. So I feel like with your style, Pile three, I just see you as somebody who dresses the right way. You know, like you, you know how to your style says that you, you get it. Like you have some sort of social knowledge. I don't know. Do you wear like a brand that is like a favorite among a super, a certain group, you know, or maybe there's like a uh, standard attire that your culture wears and you wear it really well. Like, you know, exactly. Okay. Let me, let me give a good example would be like an Indian culture. I don't know about the dress. But if you were somebody who really knew all the things that go into what sorry to wear and how to wear it and what jewels to add and what which jewelry to put where and you did all those things in the correct order and, you know, perfectly, perfect execution, that would say something about you, right? So I'm that's what I'm getting from you, Pile 3. So I don't know what scenario this would be, but... Everybody, maybe everybody this year at your school is wearing um, true religion jeans and you were, you wear the true religion jeans, the correct shoes. I don't know. There's something about that. I'm not, I don't know. What does Pile 3 style say about that? What does Pile 3 style say about them? Let's see. Because I think also you, you like to have fun within the rules. So it's like, mm-hmm. details for you. I think you wear stuff that is very yeah. on trend. You know, you wear stuff that's really on trend and then you add a little flair. Like maybe you have a favorite color um, that you always include, you know, or I don't know, there's something like that where it's like signature scent, but it's within what it's within the standard, I guess. Maybe you're in like a really competitive envir environment as well. Um, so maybe you literally are in a pageant, you know, or um, that's that's the kind of Im imagery I was getting. Like you're in a pageant and everybody has to wear a ball gown. But, and you do wear a ball gown and you, you wear what you're required to wear, but yours is very special in some way or like very beautiful or like you add jewels that have meaning to you. You know, I don't know, there's something like that where this is a very competitive environment. So I hope this isn't like, 
I don't know. It's kind of, it kind of is giving me like maybe you still live in your hometown and so you can't go too out there and um you maybe or maybe you just even like the kind of standard that your you know your whole family dresses like so you don't want to look out of place you want to look in in place but you you do extra special things with it I don't know but it's also it's I think your your style is also saying that you're particular and you notice details um okay What does Pile 3 style say about them? Yeah, so you must be like a very socially active person. That's kind of what I'm getting. Oh, you know, this could be a sorority. Okay, like, let's roll back the tape because I feel like that makes a lot of sense with everybody, everything I've been saying. Yes, you have to dress a specific way, but it's not so oppressive. It's really just like, it's kind of fun to dress all in like a uniform or, um, you know, everybody has the same rules for a dress up party, for example. Oh, see, these are much better examples, okay. We're, I think we're getting into it. I was like very confused in the beginning there. <laughs> it's like maybe you're in a, a fraternity or sorority and so there's like everybody dress in all white day and you you fully do the rules but the way you do it is excellent. I think people are admiring your appearance. I want to say if there's like a costume competition you you win the costume competition. You know it's like if there's um a best dress of the night you're you're the one doing that. And I think also what helps your whole style is your charm too. So there's something about your style that is also showing your charm, um, how you can work in any environment. There's something about your style, which is serving as a, um, a come up for you. Your style is making people trust you, making people want you. So it does feel like, like a bidding day for a sorority or something. It's like, you you dress perfectly for the occasion and then you were very charming to everyone and made a lot of connections and seemed very natural and alive and you had a good like fun kinetic kind of energy this is very Sagittarius very Sagittarius can have a conversation with anybody um has like a fun flirty sexy kind of vibe to them um so everybody is drawn to them with the queen of wands there special ribbons and bows you know like I don't know there's something about that okay yeah. Let's see. yeah, but then at the same time, it's like you're a beginner. It's also saying, your style is saying about you that you are um, new, but it's, it's giving you a high recommendation. Gosh, did you just like start a new job or did you just, um, yeah, you could have just started a new job. You could have just tried to join a sorority. Um, you know, there's some sort of new activity that you've done where you've you've made a good name for yourself based off of your style and your charm. And your style is inviting as well. I feel like that is a big thing that I'm getting from you, Pile 3, is your style is very inviting. It tells people that you're open. It tells people that you care about what you're doing. And it tells people that you would be open to talking with them and um, learning from them and that you're not offensive in some way that's another thing it's like you your style says it just has the perfect charm offensive there's something about your style which is um the perfect level of professional but casual enough to make people comfortable um but stylish enough to let people know you have taste but not so trendy that people feel intimidated by you like there's this perfect like politician mesh that you've got going on pal three this is so interesting okay yeah, and then temperance is Sagittarius again. So I think it also says that you are, yeah, okay. And I'm also saying with the, these things, it's like you're ready to learn. Are you just new in class? I don't know. Um, how could your style say that you're ready to learn? Yeah, oh, okay, that's what it's saying. Um, so I got the three of wands in case you were wondering. So temperance, and, and I asked... How does your style say that you're ready to learn? And it's the three of wands. So it says that you mean business. There's something about your outfits that tell people that you mean business, that you want to go far in this in this organization, <laughs> you know, that you want to, yeah, that you want to, that you're ambitious. 
There's something about it where um, your style is telling people that you're ambitious. You want to go far in, in this organization, in this world. You know, you're trying to network. Okay, this could also be like a networking kind of thing. And you're, you're given a really good impression, pile three. Really good impression. You're fun. People would want to go out with dr to drinks with you. People would want to... Um, you know, talk over breakfast. I'm seeing like you're, you're bringing in mentorship. You're bringing in a lot of good things. Okay. So did you go to like a networking event or something like that? Um, because I'm seeing a lot of people are thinking back to, you have just like a classiness and also a funness. Like there's this perfect mix. Like I'm saying, they would love to go to lunch with you and, you know, have you pick their brain or you um, them pick your brain about what what your goals are and um, where you're going with things yeah okay what does pile three style say about them or maybe you had a you know a job interview in which case they really thought you dressed well for the occasion okay what does your style say about you pile three i guess three wands really wanted to come out so you seem really put together. You seem put together and optimistic, which is just like the perfect combination, you know, especially if this was a job interview or a networking or whatever it was. Um, people really think you, you could go far in, in life. Um, so if this is just like a regular situation, they just feel like you would go far in life. Like you could do anything you dreamed of, you know, and that you do have high aspirations. Um, I think your, your aspirations are definitely apparent in the way that you style yourself. Okay. What does your style say about them? I did get the Ten of Swords, so clarify the Ten of Swords for what their style says about them. Oh, so you've left things behind that didn't serve you. Something about your style is saying, yeah, so that, again, a job interview would make complete sense. Like if you left one job and you're, you're going to find a next, you had to move forward from something. Let's see. What else? Yeah, I'm just getting the beginning of a new cycle. Um, and you could be a social media influencer as well. So I think your style is saying that you are very put together and like you know what you're doing. Um, <laughs> I'm seeing somebody who is following their intuition and has amazing intuition. So if you're at the beginning of some sort of stage with your social media or with a new job prospect or just a new endeavor, I'm seeing that while it is a new endeavor, everybody can tell that you are made for this or like you're already really good at this or you you're at a perfect place for where you've started you're going to really catapult um end of an old cycle beginning of a new cycle is what your style is saying about you so maybe you changed your style to reflect these ambitions what does pal three style say about them that you're a trendsetter too. Again, with you, you follow the rules, but you excel at them. Like you're somebody who really excels is what your um, your style says about you. You're going for it. You have that inner sense of child. Sorry, what? Um, you have that sense of your inner child, which is very Sagittarius again to me because there's somebody who can like go streak naked down the street. You know, that's what I get from Sagittarius energy because it's an experience, um, you know, so they're learning from every experience and they see the value in fun things that make you feel alive. So it can bring back that like childhood innocence again with, I feel like you're drawing in mentors right now. You're drawing in positive things because people see themselves in you, you know, and they, they feel reinvigorated by you pile three. I think your style says that you are somebody to believe in somebody to put stock in, um, somebody to follow. As you go forward, this would be a great pile to get if you're in social media. Um, okay, what what does your style say about you, Pal Three? That's right. Yeah, and then it's like Leo, you know, somebody who is not just talking the talk, they walk the walk. You know, I'm really getting that with you. You are just somebody who can outlast the competition, somebody who will work the hardest of anyone. Again, with, I don't know, it's a job interview, I don't know. 
yeah, someone who's going to make it happen for yourself. So people are just trying to um, hop on the train because you're like a, you know, a train barreling down the tracks is kind of the vibe is, is what your style is saying. Like you're headed for the top, you know, your goals, you know what you want and you have the drive and the ter determination to get there. Very cool. So let's pull some cards to get like more of the looks. What does Pile Three's style say about them? Pile Three style say about them? It's like your style also says that you are one of the cool kids. Like your style says that you you know about the trends, you know about what's going on in the world. Like you know, you're yeah, you're one of the cool kids. You're one of the popular ones. Um. What does Pal 3's... Also, that a lot of people want to be your friends or that you have a lot of friends is kind of what your style says. Like, because you could, you seem like somebody who could dress in a group. I don't know. What does Pal 3's style say about them? Oh, you must be really stunning. Yeah, it's like... It, okay. Like, you're somebody who built yourself, hand-built your, your style, and somebody who puts in the work yeah, you might have had a transformation again it's like you've changed your style or you've changed the way you look um in order to accomplish these goals or for like a specific event you know you really know how to do a makeover on yourself you know <laughs> that kind of thing it's like you really, I don't know, yeah, you would just be a stunner as you walk down the stairs and people people looked at you for whatever this event was. I did hear the phrase girl's girl, so, you know, if that applies, that's also something your style could say about you. It's like you want to compete. There's something about it where um, you you win some sort of competition. So interesting. Let's pull some cards, some music videos. What does Pile Three's style say about them? Another Sagittarius. So comment down below if you're Sagittarius, because damn, you're you're definitely hot. You're you're definitely being looked at as favorable. Even in this um this can't be tamed. You know, she's brought out as the main attraction, you know. So I think there's something not there for you. Let's see, what does Pile 3's style say about them? What does Pile 3's style say about them? So I'm getting heavy on that transformation energy. So you definitely could have had a transformation, um, you know, like a glow up or some sort of situation where, I don't know, you're recovering from some, some betrayal or something like that. <laughs> okay, so that makes sense with, like, the girl's girl thing I was getting, too. It's like, you could be a kind of a, a man killer in a way, like, but in the way of you just don't have the time kind of thing. Fun event again. Let me think about these. Yeah, you, you have like a very, um, it's almost like simple way of dressing, but it's excellent. Like, you might have, like, statement kind of pieces or, I don't know. Hmm. All right. 
Well, I'm going to leave these down below. Let me ask one more thing because I feel like I'm missing just something. Okay. What are we missing? What does Pile 3 style say about them? What do they look like? Something, maybe you've gone through heartbreak and your style could say you're like um gonna be single again or gonna I don't know like you're getting back at an ex or that could be a side message for somebody okay see what I'm saying it's like you could be somebody you look like somebody's girlfriend or you look like somebody's partner um I don't know yeah what, what does your style say about you it's like like you're wanting to date or Style. And you still have that again with the youth energy. You're getting, you're giving something where you still have your inner child alive, and yeah, your flirt. Okay, so these are kind of perfect. I think your style just says that you are still youthful. You're still fun. You're still out there. I think your style says that you um, might be looking to join some sort of either a partnership, so maybe you're trying to date, maybe you're trying to find a new job, and your your style is reflecting that. And then also, I think your style is very flirty. It's very fun. Um, and it says that you are a person that people could talk to and people want to get to know more. Yeah, you're on your way somewhere. I think you're just, you're definitely just on your way somewhere and you're figuring it out and you're in sort of like a transition moment. So I'm going to leave those um, music videos down below. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next time. Okay, pile number four. The obsidian. So what does pile number four's style say about them? <laughs> so you get Aquarius twice, so you might be my you might be my wild dresser, <laughs> pile four. And then Sagittarius. So there's something really loud and charged, uh, rebellious about your your style for sure. You're a person who doesn't care about what anybody thinks. Maybe you go out and you're you're dressing full goth. You know, you're dressing um, from the 1900s, you know, you're dressing where something is really standing out. Um, so people know that you, you are brash and you don't give a fuck. Um, and that you are, you're rebelling on purpose. <laughs> like, this is not a situation where somebody's looking at you and they're like, don't they know that that's not the style? Like, you know, <laughs> you just don't care. Like, you're gonna dress how you want to dress. Um, that's kind of what it's getting for me. Pow for Interesting. You could also wear like, um, I, I feel like maybe on your bag or on your clothing, you have like controversial takes on there. <laughs> um, like an ACAB sticker or something. Something where it's like, it's like very apparent that you are not looking for any opinions. You, you've got plenty for yourself, so, okay. Yeah, you know some things too. Like you're a deep person. Your your attire, um, your style, it really says that you think deeply. You love thinking about the taboos of life. You love learning about things. You, um, you're a person who may listen to indie rock, you know, <laughs> not necessarily, but you know, like somebody who, um, when you look at them, you think about what kind of music do they listen to. So that, that could go a lot of different directions, but I feel like your style says that there's more to you. There's something about your style that just says that, yeah, you have a depth to you. You have a whole inner life and um, your style is kind of screaming that. So, okay, let's see. What does Pile 4 style say about them? Yeah, also it's like, you're not afraid at all. You're not afraid at all. And it must have taken self-reflection denial and worry so I feel like your style says that you you don't deal with this kind of the kind of stuff like there's something about where you people are people would be worried wearing what you're wearing um you know people think maybe it's not appropriate 
uh, something something to that effect. Uh, I, it's, it's really mild, the things I'm hearing in my head, because I feel like it matters so little to you. And it's not the main thing we're talking about. I think what we're talking about is that for that reason, when people look at you, they know you have mastered yourself. You know, you have accepted yourself. You have immense amounts of self-confidence to go out and dress the way you dress. And these signs are Aquarius, Pisces, and Sagittarius. And when you feel, when you think about those three signs, like they're some of the coolest people ever, too. So I feel like your style is really cool. Um, and you know, real coolness does come from personal style. Some people might not want you to know that. There's something about it where people don't want to know want you to know how cool that you are. Because what you wear is kind of outlandish or your style can be outlandish at times. Okay. Um, what does their style say about them? What does Pal 4 style say about them? <laughs> Please split the deck and I get worry and doubt now. Yeah. You just don't doubt yourself. You don't second guess yourself. You're, you're just loud and proud. Yeah, and that you you like life. You like your life. You like you like the way you've set it up. You also might look pretty healthy. <laughs> Interesting, okay. Something about your um your style says that you care about health or you hmm. Maybe you wear crystals, could be. But even if you don't, I'm just seeing like you're just somebody who kind of glows from the inside because of your style. Yeah, it's like you can't, and you also can't be controlled. Like there's something about it where you, you like the way you dress. You're grateful to dress the way you dress. Or maybe, maybe you have a, a, a different kind of job. That could be another thing where you're a tattoo artist, so you're allowed to have full body tattoos. Like you're allowed to have face tattoos, um, you know, or like you, you work at a, shop where they don't care that you have your nails painted and they don't care what kind of makeup you wear and you're allowed to have bright pink hair um you know there's something about that too so you also it could be that your lifestyle reflects the way you dress so if you dress so outlandish um you had to get a job where they would let you dress that outlandish you know outlandish <laughs> It doesn't have to be that it's actually outlandish. It just could be like a lot, you know, or like a kind of intense style. Yeah, there's definitely something about your um, outfits that say that you've got tons of confidence and inner faith. Like you are, and you're stubborn. You're stubborn as a mule is what I just heard. <laughs> oh my gosh. I dropped some pictures down below. No, I'm just kidding. But like, what are you dressing like that for? Please describe it to me. Maybe you just have a lot of piercings. People, it also could be kind of mild, and people are just kind of a lot, you know. Because I have, I have a tattoo behind my ear, and it's really not that big or anything like that. But some people would be way too afraid um, to get that, and would, and I have had people look down on me for having it because it's so so prominent I, I don't feel like it's that prominent but you know whatever or getting a nose piercing getting an eyebrow piercing is that is that so outlandish to some um okay what does pal four style say about them Ooh, okay so your style could also say that you've come to some sort of big conclusions or you've learned a lot about yourself or um you know, you've come back from major hardships. Interesting. Again, you could you could definitely have if if you're dressing goth or in that like mall goth kind of way with you know Halloween kind of stuff and people are loving that. They they love the way it looks on you and it matches really well. That's just a, a side message. You look feisty. You look like you could overcome any obstacle. Because again, with the pushback that people are assuming you're receiving from your outfits, um, it's like they can just tell that you've gone through stuff and you are a fighter. I think 
think you, you you just have to look smart in some way. I don't know. Again, you could be wearing like political phrases on your shirts or I, I don't know. Um, let's think about this. Listen, what does your style say about you? Maybe that <laughs> it could be that you dress so consistently that you might have like a style guide in your mind. And, you know, this is how I dress. Or it could be also like you dress in a specific, um, what is that called? A... Uh, like sub genre of dressing, you know, like I was saying, like goth, something with a title, you know, you could dress in a way with something that has a title. And that way, um, there's a reason there's a logic to the outfits, you know what I mean? Something like that. Hmm. Also that you think a lot about your clothes and you, you put in time with your clothes and your style because I'm getting even more than clothes it's your whole style your whole aesthetic is a thing like it's a living breathing entity that you pour creative energy into um yeah yeah it's like you're you people okay your style says that you're like kind of a creative artsy person who spends a lot of time thinking about um art and the way you present in the world and your style Anything else from this one? Could have a sex appeal for sure. Yeah, and it also could incorporate things from ancient culture or um, your, your own culture. You could wear stuff that has to do with your culture. Or, oh, I'm thinking of those like tattoos that people in um, Maori cultures or like Pacific Islander cultures, they get face tattoos that have specific meanings. Um, you know, so that would be very rebellious, intense, and having to do with somebody's culture. So I feel like there's something in that with that with you as well. So it could be um, to wear cultural attire that is not commonplace in your community. Again, you could wear crystals, you could wear... Um, you could have tattoos of like an onk or like something where it's referencing a cultural, spiritual thing that's significant. So then again, that just makes you look smart too. I mean, I do think that there's something about your style that definitely makes you look smart. Um, it makes you look feisty, makes you look alert and interested in your life and like very alive in some way. Okay, let's see. Anything else? What else? So this is the second time I'm, I'm getting Two of Swords. I didn't show the other. I, I pulled it off screen, but um, Two of Swords. Yeah, it's like you're not interested in input. There's something about your style that says back off <laughs> also. It's like you're really not interested in input and you've got your own internal decisions going on. Um, you are plenty logical and you're not looking... You're not looking for any advice. I think also with the Three of Pentacles here, um, people could be seeing you at work. People, again, it's, it's drawing me back to that earlier conversation where we were like, uh, there's something where because of your looks, you could only have a certain type of job maybe. You know, I'm thinking of those people who like to dress in like a real stoner way and then you go to the stoner shop and that's where they work, you know, or they work as a butt tender or something. You know, like something where your job and your looks are in line. So tattoo artist is another one that makes complete sense to me. Hairstylist, and you can dye your hair bright pink because you're a hairstylist, you know. Um, stuff like that where something about your job interacting with the way you look. And maybe other people that you work with look the same as you, you know. So you've created this little environment where everybody is accepting of that. Um, what does Pal Four Style say about them? This is so fun. I feel like this reading was so interesting because, yeah, Ten of Cups, it's like you have created the life that you really love. You have designed yourself in such a way that is perfect for you, that's brought you emotional fulfillment. There's something about your style that has brought you emotional fulfillment. Like, that's <laughs> that's everybody's dream, right, Pal Four? Like, that's amazing. I love that for you. Follow me on Instagram so I can see what you look like. No, but what I was saying is everybody's pile has been really different. It's been really fun for me to read. Um, but yeah, what, what does Pile 4's style say about them? Yeah, there's something like really politically 
charged about your style, like politically charged or emotionally charged about your style where um, you could wear pride pins or something like that, you know, something where it's like you, you're putting it all out there. You're putting it um, right on the front. If you want to disagree with me, here's why, you know, and if you, you're also, it's, it's, I'm getting like a mutual feeling of if people want to come at you, you know, you're going to put it out there right away. They, they're going to know kind of what direction you're leaning. But then I'm also getting, you put people at ease. So there's something about your style, which um, is very much a green flag to some people that you're meeting and then very much a um, red flag or a hold back flag for the other people you're meeting. So again, it makes sense if you have a really alternative style or something like very rainbow or something like that, then other people who share your values are going to be able to find you easier. So there's something about that with you. Okay. What does Pop 4 style say about them? Yeah, you're, you're very open emotionally. Like you're very like, and that could be for negative and positive emotions. It's like you, you wear your heart on, a, on your sleeve is what I keep hearing. Like you really wear your heart on your sleeve. And, um, that might be even more literal of a phrase because maybe it's in literally on your clothes. Also that you're fast paced and you're very, um, yeah, you're just so quick with it. And getting the chariot and then the eight of wands, like you're quick. You are very quick, powerful. And that your style really says that about you. You, you are not afraid to, you know, talk your shit, voice your opinions. Um, and maybe, okay, I'm thinking of something else now. I posted this thing once on my Instagram and I got a bunch of backlash for it. And then I posted another thing that was like, that was very little that I just said. So if you disagree with what I said, then you probably should just leave because it's only going to get worse from here. Like there's something about that with you where I don't know, you're just so free with it. Oh, that's what I was going to say. And somebody was like, maybe you won't get a job because of what you posted. And I was like, if I don't get a job because of what I posted, then they don't align with my um, morals. And that's that. So that again, with your, your style weaving with your, your appearance and your, um, and your job. Um, so I feel like, yeah, there's something where your career and how you style yourself gone hand in hand. And I, it, maybe it's because you are kind of a loud person with your opinions and you dress in a very provocative or intense way. So then you couldn't, you couldn't necessarily work a nine to five corporate job because they're not going to let you act like that. You know, that's just for some, um, but whatever it is, I just feel like you're not afraid and you're very open and you're very direct and out there and intense and true to yourself and knowledgeable and emotionally intelligent, emotionally aware. So it's just, it's a very good combination I'm getting. Yeah, you might have a lot of friends too. I think your, your style, maybe you have like a group that you guys all share similar beliefs and then, or maybe you guys all um, dress alternative or something like that. And people want to be your friend based on your style too. You look cool. You look fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you look like a, a great romantic partner. And you look like someone who would be able to um, sit up all night talking and that would have a lot to say and is very fun and um, has a lot of opinions. Again, I'm meaning like politics or, you know, um, philosophy or spiritual concepts. You know, it could be a lot of different things. Yeah, you have a lot to offer. You have a lot to offer. You're a very cool person. Very, very cool person. And then we get strength too. So... I mean, that, that just makes sense with everyone, everything we've been saying. You're very strong, you're very intense, you're very amazing. <laughs> Loving that for you. So let's pull some music videos for you. <laughs> okay. What does Pal Flores style say about them? want your company because of the yeah you definitely have a cool cool factor um and you're very like harsh too so what does pal four style say about them okay. 
so many purple. Yeah, your self-love game is really 10 out of 10. <laughs> pretty rock. <laughs> it's like you know you're pretty, so you just don't, you don't, you're not looking for anything. You're not looking for any, any, uh, any notes at all. Okay. Yeah, you could be somebody people want to have, be friends with. People, um, trust. With Say Bitch, too, it's like, some, she's driving through the street and, you know, having girls come in the car and, um, dance and hang out. So, like, you could be somebody who can bring people in because people feel, feel good with you. There's this, like, kind of man-hating vibe. So, if that's you, then here you are. <laughs> You're, you are being represented right now. Um, you could be somebody who, you, again, you just have a lot to say and you are, it's right on the edge of your tongue. You're, you know, uh, <laughs> it's really funny. It's really funny. So what I'm seeing is this one, this one, this one. Yeah, those are kind of, that's really funny. And getting State of the Union also, it's like you, you have a harsh, a really harsh tongue, really harsh tongue. And you dress in a very cool um, alternative kind of way is what I'm seeing, but, you know, alternative could be different depending on what community you're in, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna leave these down below. This is really, really funny, though. Like, nobody's gonna come against you. You just seem like somebody who would just put them in their place so quick. They, their heads wouldn't be able, even have time to spend. Like, I don't even know. Um, okay. Well, Thank you very much, Paul Ford. Don't don't rip me a new one in the comments. <laughs> uh, sending you love, and I hope you have a nice night.